Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. This is episode 5. Last time we got to work on base building, uh, which was awesome, and we've also gone and explored the depths in a random direction, only for us to, uh, to pay the price. We had our first encounter with a Leviathan class predator. Um, and a wizard fish. It was crazy. Um, today, uh, we're going to do some stuff. I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. Uh, what I know for certain is we are going to make the ultra glide fins because we can make those. Uh, I just need a uh, creep vine cluster and then I've already got my fins and we're going to build that straight off the bat today. And no idea really what we're going to do. Searching for magnetite, I think. Searching for magnetite. Apparently I haven't scanned this before. There you go. Imagine not having scanned that before. Uh, mature creepvine plants that have survived the predation of small herbivores produce these bioluminescent seed clusters, which may be knocked loose by currents or consumed and later deposited by predators. The embryo was surrounded by a thick oil and silicone layer, which would disperse into the ground as the outer skin deteriorated. This may provide the seedling with the nutrients it needs to survive the low light conditions on the seabed. <clears throat> a vital alien resource, construction applications. Nice. Lovely. Um, hang on. Does... Oh, we've also got Ruby in here, which is a hard blood red gemstone of aluminum. Can't believe I just said aluminum. What am I, some kind of American? Aluminium? Oxide? Rubies may be processed in order to leverage their structural integrity in advanced vehicle construction and modification. Love it. Okay. Uh, we did also receive another Sunbeam message. They're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. We're on day 18. So, see how that goes. Okay. One creep vine cluster makes two silicon rubbers. Um, I'm so happy that we are in a game <clears throat> that we're in a game that has a battery charger now because I will be able to replace our batteries and then put other ones in here and it's just like a great little great little system. So let's unequip the fins because we've learned our lesson that you don't have to craft brand new fins to be part of the recipe like we did with the with the oxygen tank. Oh, I just made lubricant. I don't know why I made lubricant. Why did I do that? <laughs> I clicked the wrong thing. Where's the undo button? It's a good thing that creep vine seeds are not uh, difficult to come by. Um, yep. Let me just grab another one. Maybe we shouldn't just frantically click something here. Eh? seem like the greatest or smartest idea ever. All right, let's get another creep vine seed, please. Lovely. Imagine making the wrong thing. Couldn't be me. Um, have I got, yeah. Cool. Not sure just how much, you know, extra swim speed we'll get, but, you know, more is better than none. I don't even need to use the ladder. You can just jump back up. Okay. Silicon rubber, please. Now, we can make... Don't make normal fins. Oh, hang on, I can't make the fins yet, can I? Because I've had a, I've had a goddamn brain fart moment and we need, um, god damn it, hang on, we need a modification station. Oh, I can't believe I tricked myself into this again, um, I don't even know what it is guys. 
I, I can't even begin to tell you. I just go, I just get so excited. I'm like, oh, I can make that. And then you realize that you actually can't because I need a diamond. Where the hell are we getting diamonds from? All right, well, let's put a, let's put a pause on that one. Ha <laughs> ha. We're not making that yet. So let's put that stuff away, shall we? Put that stuff away. Hang on, this is the wrong... Wrong locker. I need everything to be appropriately organized. You know something that I want to instantly call out about this game that I really appreciate? Is the game automatically sorts in the... When you dump stuff, it automatically sorts it by type. It doesn't go like latest at the bottom or anything like that. And I really appreciate that. Um, and I'm really grateful that the game does that. All right, we're going to dump that stuff in there. Uh, pretend you guys didn't see anything at the beginning of this episode. I got so excited too, didn't I? Um, we're going to replenish some batteries. <coughs> I'm also going to sneeze. I'm also going to sneeze. Um, it'd be cool if you could take batteries out of your stuff from here. That would be nice, but it seems that I've got to do it this way. Um, battery, yes. And then scanner. Um, battery, yes. Cool. Dump these bad boys in there for a charge. They can go into the repair tool when they're ready to go. I'm thirsty. We're already already needing to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna build a first aid fabricator in here at some point as well, so I can double dip on my on my med kits. We do not have a radio message at the moment. We've got three out of four upgrades in our Seamoth. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with everything that's happening in this game. Just running over a bunch of fish as per usual. Um, do I have anything in here? Just a standard oxy tank. I would like that, please. Um, we're looking for magnetite and diamonds today, everybody, um, because I need a modification station and a Seamoth depth upgrade and, um, a stasis rifle. Yeah, I don't know if I really need it, but I want it. Um, now we've discovered some areas where this game has depths deeper than we could possibly imagine. Um, and we've only, we're only just doing that. We're only just slowly discovering that over time. Um, like we would like, let's just pick a direction and run with it. We ended up seeing just such an insane pit and that seems like it's just the beginning, but I think that's where we're going to want to find our rarer minerals and rocks and such is just as deep as you can go there should be some cool stuff to find right i don't know if this game has those sort of scientific applications of like near like heat sources or stuff like that you'll have these amazing rocks form and stuff it feels like that would be like the way of things um i know that we do need a laser cutter to access some stuff so you know, we can't get in these big buildings or like debris yet. Part of me is actually curious because we know what a floater can do. And I'm like, I wonder if we can just put a float. Imagine if you put a floater on this wreckage and it just floats up to the top. You know what I mean? We could try it when I have a floater to 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 try. We'll see if we can actually lift up like big pieces of debris. But I'm not sure how that how that'll work, you know. Now I remember us putting a beacon there because it was a door that we could open. But really, the world is open to us. We can just kind of like maybe pick a direction, like we did last time when we encountered a leviathan predator, and just look for a big old um big old hole in the floor for some minerals 
I think we could probably look into... I realized this as well, is I think what we can look into is building the prawn suit at some point too. Because... What makes sense is we, like, we need diamonds, but the prawn suit has the drill arm, so we can mine those large resource deposits. It makes so much sense. So that's how we can get to that stuff. But we need diamonds to do so. And also it's purple. So I'm assuming that means it's like top tier level building material. And at some point in this mess, I think we've got to figure out maybe how to get onto the uh, Aurora and fix things. So we might even have a look. Whoa, look at that. We might even have a look and see um, if we could pay a visit there. Whoa, look at this. Let's see if we can pay a visit there just to like dip our toes in and see what it's like. So we can go 300 meters down at the moment. Maybe I should scan whatever this is. I can't. Maybe we should go down to the bottom. What is this? Blood oil. Blood oil. It won't let me scan whatever it is. Blood oil. Red oil filled pustule contains blood vine seeds, maybe processed into ben benzene. Okay. Maybe I'll just take one with me because I don't have any applications for that right now. I don't think we've I've, I've even seen that come up. Gab's feather. Gabe's feather. Indigenous life forms. Gabe's feather. This, like, hands. This plant grows almost exclusively in deeper waters where its hand like leaves have evolved to filter sediment from the environment and is likely dependent on the excretions of fauna populating the waters above and around it. Okay. This music right now, though. It's a bop. Oh, it's this. Gabe, Gabe's feather seed. Okay, so we can get stuff again. I think this will be good for like a seed bed or something. But it seems like this is like Calorie intake recommended. an upside down, uh, upside down, an underwater type deal. All right, I can't wait to get a heat blade so I can like cook fish on the go. That's gonna be cool. Oh, hang on, I can scan the blood oil on the bottom of the thing. There we go. Blood vine. This species of kelp grows in sparse uh, copses, 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 deep on the ocean floor and provides shelter for an array of distinct fauna and megafauna. Survival at these depths is challenging, and the life forms which make their homes here have developed unusual coping mechanisms, including a bleaching of skin pigment, dependency on naturally occurring metals and oils to adjust to temperature and pressure, and in some cases, even electrical defense mechanisms. The vibrant red oils which seep from the blood vine co uh, coagulate into semi-hard pustules which frequently fall loose and form a vital foodstuff for the local ecosystem or are otherwise reabsorbed into the ground over time. Cool. Learning things. Learning. <clears throat> oh, are these deep shrooms? Yes! I need these for something. Nice. They... They look like something else. <laughs> That's for sure. Alright. Deep shrooms, baby. Where are they at? A discolored relative of the acid mushroom adopted to low-light conditions. Considerably more acidic than its shallow-dwelling cousin, it may have applications in advanced fabrication, so it can be processed into hydrochloric acid. That's cool. So I think if we go up here... Yep, hydrochloric acid and salt. Oh, there we go. Uh, benzene with three blood oils. Synthetic fibers. Okay, hang on. Fiber mesh is creep vine and benzene. Okay, aerogel, gel sac ruby, polyaniline, gold, and hydrochloric acid. Okay, advanced materials. Um, I don't know if we've got anything that we're needing to build at the moment that's super advanced. Like I know that we'll get there. 
eventually. Um, but it's good that we know this kind of stuff and where this comes from. Much is seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. <laughs> I I find that the voice that speaks to us sometimes is um, it's got some jokes. Thirty seconds. It's got got some jokes. Like the you know, are you sure that you want to proceed when we there was like Leviathan class predators? Are you sure you want to proceed? Um. I need to get some food, um, and I need to cook it, and I need to put it in my tummy. Um, but can we? Can we? How much does? How much does raw fish give? Oh, look at this! This is a cool spine fish. Small school mentality prey fish, closely related to the hoop fish. Grey coloration, a combination of near translucent flesh with white rib-like markings, giving the fish a deathly appearance. It takes advantage of this to avoid the attention of its predators. Moves in schools for protection, but will disperse and flee if necessary, whereon those fortunate enough to escape the gaze of their assailants will make for the seafloor and hide amongst the detritus. So it's edible with a low calorie count. So give me plus four food. I need to go and cook this bad boy. collect some of them and then I guess we'll have to head back uh, I probably should have fed myself before embarking on the journey but you know it means we can just come back out this way I should probably build I think a good idea that I'm going to do for myself uh, in future is we are going to build a beacon and then if we venture out somewhere that's cool and we need to leave all of a sudden, like we're doing right now. Um, I can I can put a beacon down and return. Right, I'm gonna grab while we're here. I'm just gonna grab some stuff because um, we're going go, we're gonna go back to base. So I'll grab this so I can make some benzene. Grab three of those because three makes one. Um, oh, hang on. S scan this shale outcrop. Remember, the materials <gasps> you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at three million credits. <laughs> okay. Diamonds! Diamonds are in shale outcrops, dude. Oh, that's so exciting. This is what it must feel like to get diamonds in Minecraft, right, guys? I can make a modification station. All right, we make a computer chip. We've got lead. I can make a modification station, and it's all happening, which means I can make a heat blade. Oh, man, this is so good, which means I can cook fish on the go. This is so good. Just needs a battery. God, I'm so happy. Ultra high capacity tank. Oh, my guys, we are going to be feasting oh that, that that's just such a gateway to so many things all right awesome 30 seconds seeing that diamond pop on my screen was amazing all right cool all right we are coming back here for more shale outcrops okay so i'm gonna pay attention to our compass so we're heading back to our base uh which is um, a kilometer northeast. So if we're coming back in this direction, we want to be coming like southwest. All right, that's that's it. We're paying attention to our compass. We will come back in this direction. It'll become easier in future when we just drop a beacon and we can return to it. But we want to be heading back southwest. That's how we're going to do it. We're going to make, build another battery. We're going to build a computer chip. It's, it's, it's all happening. I'm so excited. One diamond is all we needed. Oh, actually, and let's try this. We'll get. I want to get some. Get some floaters. I know. Oh shit! Hang on. That's a. Uh... Oh dude, they got a sand shark that's got the infection on it. We just we discovered an infection, as well, uh, from radi from the radiation, I believe. Um, 
last episode. So it's kind of affecting the environment. It is affecting the environment in a bad way. I need to remember that the Seamoth has a storage module of its own as well. I'm gonna starve. I feel like this is a game that like has such a fantastic opening that just like feels so fun to start but then it just like it just continues to get like better and better constantly like the more comfortable you get I'm not sure if comfortable is the right word but you know what I mean you just get so engaged with it all it just feels great you have such a rhythm about going out here and stuff welcome aboard captain Okay, let's make some food. Let's uh, cook up some spider fish. Okay, how much does cooked spine fish give? 23. Perfect. Um. There we go. Vital signs stabilized. Now, computer chip. To make a computer chip, what do we need? Um, table coral, gold, and copper wire. Okay. Uh, I've got some gold. I got some table coral. Uh, now I just need copper. And it's night time, the hardest time to find some. Okay, is it just one? I got some copper. Um, let me have a look. Copper wire is two. Okay, so I need one more piece of coral. I should probably try and have a coral storage situation. That is titanium, god damn it. I was almost like really lucky there. It was just efficient. Getting everything I needed immediately. Thank you. Okay. Done and done. We'll be making our modification station. Then we're gonna make a heat blade. I'll be able to cook food on the go. I'm gonna make a high powered oxygen tank. How exciting. Copper wire. Computer chip. Okay, now in terms of the modification station, I guess that's a habitat builder thing, yeah? It seems like it would be a habitat builder thing. Um, hang on. I don't need the... L yeah, hang on. I need that. And then I think I only need one piece of lead. Being efficient at the moment. Okay. Now. Oh, hang on. I do need titanium. Two bits of titanium. Cool. All right. Habitat builder. 
Uh, let's build ourselves. Where is it? A modification station. All right. I kind of just have everything over the same things. It just seems more convenient. I'm going to put this. Um, yeah, I'll put this here, actually. Yeah, there you go. Check this bad boy over there. We got a radio message. Nice. Modification station. Let's make some stuff, dude. This is exciting. All right. Unequip that. Unequip that. Give me a battery. Let's make some shit. Thermoblade. Bop. Ultra high capacity tank. Bop. Oh no, I can't make my thi my fins. I need one more piece of lithium. And I don't think I have it actually. No, I was, uh, damn, I was, I was short one piece of lithium. That was almost a, a amazing experience there. All right, that's fine. Um, we will go elsewhere for, um, we'll go get that lithium. We'll go get that lithium. That's fine. All right. Um, we're going to use the floaters on random stuff and see if it actually floats salvage all the way up to the top. That'll be, I'll be quite curious about that. Um, let's listen. This is life pod four. We've landed close to the Aurora. Flotation device is active, but we've got some big old fish in the water with us. And I don't know how long we're going to last. We're close to the crash site, so bring radiation protection. Four out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Approximate, okay. Uh, 180 seconds of oxygen. And I need my radiation helmet on. We may as well go there, because that could be quite interesting. Let's take off some of our recipes. God, it feels so good when you do something like that, like in a row, like when you have like a particular thing kind of blocking your progress, but then you unlock it and you're like, I've done it. Modification station, you goddamn beauty. Now what's cool about the Thermoblade is because it had a battery, I actually fully expected it to have a replaceable battery for some reason, but it doesn't. But I can now cook my food and eat it too, which is very exciting. Um, probably do more damage to enemies as well if I get attacked. How oh, cool. All right, uh, let's take out this battery because we're gonna replace the battery in this one and then we're gonna put the battery in the thing and then we're gonna charge the battery. Perfect. Yeah, I'm really, really enjoying playing the game at the moment. Like there's just so many things that are kind of like falling into place that I'm just like, this is great. I'm a big fan of this. Okay, so approximate location. Approximate transmission origin recorded to the data bank. Let's have a look. Codes and clues. Oh, is it floating in there? Oh, it's floating. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Flotation devices active. Life pod located at sea level. Close proximity to radioactive fallout from the Aurora. Origin is approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora's port midsection. Okay, this should be pretty easy to see. Shale outcrops is gold, lithium, and diamonds. So we've encountered shale outcrops before, just haven't got the diamonds yet. So we were finally lucky enough to get a diamond from one. All right. All systems online. Oh, see, our flotation device is fine because our ship is actually upright, but this one in the photo was upside down. <laughs> Something that kind of interests me about the Sea Glide, right, is obviously <laughs> we've just <laughs> we've just kept this one just floating here. Um, it's got no charge, got no battery, right? Um, and I'm just wondering. Like, can you just take the battery out? Oh, unload battery. You can. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. You can just unload the battery. Cool. Which means I can go and take this battery to get charged. <laughs> 
God, I need some lights. I can see why you need to build floodlights now. You're like, where's my base? I need to build some lights for this thing. All right, here we go. This this take uh, this took probably a little bit too long for us to do that. Oh, hang on, wrong way. Let's charge up that battery that's been sat in that sea glide. Now, what I want to know is, can we just because we have two, right? We have two, and I'm kind of just like, how do we get rid of it? You know what I mean? And by get rid of it, I mean, can we just delete it? That's the funny part. Because <laughs> with a habitat builder, you can deconstruct stuff that that you've, um, oops. Hang on. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons here. Um, you can, um, you can deconstruct things that you've built with the habitat builder. So I'm, pre I'm just pressing a series of wrong buttons. All right, it's Q on that one, but it's it's nothing on there. We're just gonna let that sea glide be um, <laughs> be trash at the bottom of the ocean. Dude. <laughs> We're just gonna let it be trash at the bottom of the ocean. Um, because we've, we've taken the battery out. We've got a we've got a sea glide um, in our in our inventory at the moment. Systems online. We don't need it. All right, let's go locate life pod four. Would help if I was maybe looking in the right direction of the aurora. There we go. Um, now it might be over the other side. Which, actually, to mention, we have not actually been over the other side of the Aurora, because we went to approach it at the beginning, because we were like, oh god, we're gonna fucking, you know. We gotta go and fix the, the thing real quick. <laughs> so it'll be interesting for us to actually check this place out. How do we make a, actually, how do we make the... To look up some stuff because getting into those doors in some of the wreckages needs a laser cutter so i'm going to assume that i'm going to assume that the aurora will be the same because it'll have doors that need to be cut open two diamonds all right that's achievable because we know where to get diamonds now so we're going to diamond hunt hopefully find some magnetite as well but we can make a laser cutter Feeling good about our uh, our situation at the moment. Now let's have a look, because I guess something to note is that this hasn't sunk. I guess is another point to actually think about. Is this thing do just be chilling? Wow. Okay. So there's there's land here. This is the first time getting this close, by the way. Okay, so there's actually some there's actually some land. So that's why it's not sinking. There's a lot of metal salvage. Hey, Cyclops engine fragment. Let's hit that. Nice. Wild. Okay. stuff around here. Alright, 
Alright. Try not to get distracted, because it's very easy to get distracted. I'll, I'll take the long way round. For this life pod, I'm just looking to see if there's anything amazing that pops up along the way. some supply crates filled with first aid kits Have I scanned this thing before what's the deal with the hoverfish Small edible prey fish. Can I use it to hover? <laughs> it's a hover fish. Edible. Hover fish uses this ability to maintain its position against the current. Capable of ionizing the surrounding water. What happens if you hold it? Okay. Doesn't look doesn't look active. Looks cute though. I wonder if this is all just first aid kit stuff that are in these crates, because otherwise I'm just I'm just collecting a bunch of this. Oh, hang on. Oh, bat battery. God damn. This is just free stuff. There's so much free stuff around the Aurora that we've just never even bothered to check out. Look at that high, uh, high quality graphics right there. Shush, on that, that pixelated thing. I thought that might have been something for us to interact with, but it's not looking likely. Damn. Look at all these batteries I've had to make for myself over time, and I can just get them out of boxes. And some water? Whoa, 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 whoa. In this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Holy shit, what? If not contained within the next 24 hours. All right, propulsion cannon. Nice. One out of two. The propulsion cannon allows technicians to manipulate gravitational forces at ranges of up to 20 meters. It is commonly used in construction and mining to move materials. Uh, pull the trigger once to lock on and attract a single targeting targeted object weighing less than 25 kilograms. Oh, this is cool. So there was a cave that we were in and I saw a bunch of rocks blocking an entrance and I was looking at that being like, I wonder if there's a way to do that. And it looks like this is that thing. Pull the trigger a second time to propel the object at speed away from the device. The prop cannon, some species are telekinetic for everyone else. There's Altera. Cool. Okay, we want to find... That power transmitter. All right, we want to make a propulsion cannon. Blueprint acquired. Cool. Nice. What do you need? Okay, that's pretty easy to make. Cool. Just a wiring kit. All right, I got 24 hours to save the world. Um. Oh fuck. Um. Oh damn. Uh, I'm terrified now. Life on readings in this region are sparse. The radioactive fallout will have devastating effect on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't think I can. This seems like something that I can't contain. What am I supposed to do? Put fucking, you know, flex seal over it? Anyone want to get flex seal 
on the line. We'll just we'll just tape it up. The radiation will be contained and we'll be good. So is this the way in? Whoa. So everything around this area is kind of fucking dead because of the fallout. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh! Hello! Just another one of those fucking things is just chilling out here. Why the fuck is that thing just... I thought life form readings were sparse. You've got one of those fucking things hanging out. Jesus. Uh, this looks like an entrance to me. Alright, life pod first. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit, dude. Oh, wow. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Oh, fire extinguisher as well. That would make sense. Oh my god. This is terrifying. So I need to go in here with fire extinguisher, laser cutters. I probably need to move shit out of the way with a propulsion cannon. Like, you need to go in there like fully prepped. And then what? You just put some duct tape over the ship and you're like, good to go. Radio action, radio action, radioactive problem solved. God damn. It's missing the whole front. Not to worry, you're still flying half a ship. All right, let's focus on the live pod, which I think is out this way. I cannot see anything, dude. Whoa, how fucking deep is that? What the fuck? This is crazy, dude. All right, we gotta get to work on having stuff to build to get into the Aurora. Uh, we've got a fire extinguisher. Um, we need diamonds. I need. I need to go diamond hunting. Um, So I need two diamonds. <sighs> so when we get back to the life pod, we need to go southwest to get to where we were before. Maybe find some more shale outcrops. Get some diamonds, get a laser cutter. Get in this ship, see what happens. Okay. Looking for a life pod. Not really seeing anything on the surface here. This looks similar to the photo, does it not? Let's have a look at that photo again. Oh, you know what? I actually think that's on the other side. Oh, fuck. I think that's on our side. Why do I think it was on this side? For some reason, I just thought it would be on there. Oh! Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Why the fuck? They're so close to the ship. What if those fuckers get infected? They Then they can die. That's fine. Maybe we won't fix the fallout. God damn, dude. I cannot see anything. No, that it's just like just straight up just you know when you like there's sand being like has been kicked up or disturbed in the water and it's just you can't see anything that's what that is all right well we've made a tremendous journey circling the aurora oh 
My fucking god, dude. You can't see, like, fucking anything in front of you. Until you're, like, right there. That is terrifying. Well, what the fuck? Why are they just... They're so close. I didn't think they would be so close. Okay. What's this live pod? It's over this way. Oh, that's terrifying. Alright, ready? Here's our, uh, here's our little trial and error. What we're gonna do here is, uh, we've got a couple of floaters, right? Get these floaters. Put these on th on this. Uh, yeah. I just got attacked. I just took damage. Oh, fuck. Oh, okay. Um, I think it just. I think one of them just exploded. I don't think you can do it on. Uh. I don't think it works. Yep. <laughs> no. Okay, it doesn't work on um on stuff like this. Worth a shot. Worth a shot just to see. Okay. Life Pod 4 should be pretty close to us based on that photo. And it looks like based on the photo it's upside down, so I guess I'm looking for a submerged life pod that's just floating. Of course, the water looks like this. Oh, there it is. Here it is. Found it. God damn. It's gorgeous, but look at that! It's terrifying. There's just oh it's just blackness. Cannot see shit. Alright, we found it. Creature decoy. Creature decoy. Attracts creatures to its location, can be deployed by hand or by submarine, cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Cool. Nice little distraction. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, I presume I miscalculated. Designation Reaper. They're called Reapers. God, that feels so fitting for them. God damn. So those things that we've been seeing. Reapers. Terrifying. Okay. Let's go back to our live pod and then we're going to go southwest and we're going to go diamond hunting so we can make a laser cutter. We're going to get onto this goddamn ship. We're going to see what we can do. We're gonna see what we can do. Um, I have a, oh. So many of them. I have a feeling that we are in some significant environmental trouble in terms of this radiation.
cannot see anything. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Let's figure out our current situation, shall we? Um, I need some food, so we're gonna eat up. Um, I have too many, too many first aid kits at this point. Um, I'm gonna have to craft even more lockers soon <laughs> as well. So crazy. Uh, that is a decomposing cooked spine food, so we're gonna get rid of that because I forget that we really need to um, not make more food than you need. We got another radio message coming in. Wiring kit just needs silver ore, so let's do that. Two silver ore and some titanium, I think. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Oh, fuck. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh, shit. Um, okay, what the fuck? Are we getting out of here? Is everything else that we're doing right now just like entirely optional? What is going- okay. Um, wild. Propulsion cannon. Go, baby. <laughs> That's cool. I like those animations. Um, oh shit. Well now I've got to go... Does that go there? Oh no, it just sits in my inventory, doesn't it? What is that slot, actually? Maybe another upgrade. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, in that case, we're gonna check the sunbeam out. I have a feeling that this just isn't gonna go well. Like, it feels like a bit strange that it's like, well, you're getting rescued, you're getting out of here, chief. And I'm like, eh, why? It doesn't feel like it. But, uh, sure. I guess I'll, I'll trust you. And we'll head over there and we'll see what happens. So it's going to arrive in 40 minutes. Um, which reminds me to save my game, actually. Uh, so it's gonna arrive in 40 minutes. So I guess I guess we don't have to head there immediately. But we'll keep a mental note of it. So let's head southwest. So we're gonna see if we can find uh, we're gonna see if we can find diamonds. Um, because I feel that this is not going to go. I feel that this is not going to go the way that we want it to. Imagine if you get just picked up, just rolls credits. It's like, that's it. <laughs> Maybe they would like land, but then they'll be like, ah, we're out of fuel. And now you need to go and get the fuel from the Aurora to put in our ship or something. Well, synthesize more fuel to get out of here. I could see that being a thing, but I don't feel like we're getting out of here that easy. Probably gonna miss our 24-hour uh, time frame though. Okay, now from here, southwest. I'm trying to remember where exactly from this wreckage we went. I think we we went down here. Um. Hmm. This isn't exactly right. This is a different area. 
We've seen this before in a different spot. But I guess around this area is still better than nothing, so we're going to try and find shale outcrops. At the moment we're just finding limestone. Oh, hang on. Shale. Aha! There's one diamond, baby! Let's go! One more diamond. And then we've already got the cave sulfur, because I made sure to keep some of that on hand. We can build a laser cutter. Come on, baby. That's fine, because I need lithium as well for my fins. I'll take a lithium. a lot of outcrops but I'm looking for shale ones specifically at the moment. Guess I may as well pick these up just to have some more copper on me. It's not a diamond. Finding this diamond's going to be exciting. And we still don't know where magnetite comes from, so... I love how we're not even that deep. Well, probably better luck of finding some decent outcrops out this way. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Damn limestone. It's not what I'm looking for. What is that? Rogue Cradle. Rouge Cradle. <laughs> so that's not how rogue is spelt. Complex cave dwelling flora specimen. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a rigid cage, presumably to ward off medium sized herbivores. Okay. Go deeper. Need to repair this actually. It's taking some damage. Get 
getting stranded without my Seamoth would not make me very happy. A lot of quartz, got some rubies. arm fragment. Creature eggs. Thermal plant fragment. God damn it. I need shale outcrops so bad. There's one. Diamond. Damn it. Yes. Okay, there it is. Um, that's all that I, yeah. That's all that we have time for. Okay, we're gonna make the fins and the laser cutter. We got cave sulfur back home. All right, time to get out of here. We'll head back to the life pod, make our stuff, and then I don't think I'll be able to explore the Aurora in time. I mean, we got 30 minutes, so. We'll see. I'll make a save game and see what we can get away with. I will save. <coughs> well, this has been an exciting journey. The journey for diamonds. I thought diamonds were going to take so much longer. I thought we were going to find magnetite before we found diamonds. I should probably keep an eye on how long it will actually take us to get to the land beam, the land beam, the sunbeam landing site. Time. Give me cave sulfur. Give me the silicon rubber. Oh, it won't let me take it because my inventory is full, naturally. I've already got a wiring kit in here. I don't even need to make a new one. <laughs> nice. Um, I made a new I made a new one, didn't I? For the propulsion cannon. Made a wiring kit unnecessarily. Sometimes it's good to check your storage of things that you randomly built ages ago. Okay, let's see. I guess everything I need to build is at a different station. Um... 
Okay, so the fins I can build here. Oh, God. Having the, <laughs> my full inventory. God damn it. Hold on. Uh, let's ditch the stuff that I at least know that I don't need right now. Get in there. I equip this. Make this. Alright, Ultra Glide fins. Made. Alright, laser cutter must be on the tools thing. I just missed it because I don't think it was uh, green because I didn't have the cave sulfur. Yes, there it is. Laser cutter. Making tools. That's it. Okay, we now have the laser cutter for penetrating standard titanium doors. We've got a propulsion cannon. Dude, we are goddamn prepped for our journey. Okay, let's have a look. Let's ditch the stuff that we don't need right now. I'm definitely going to have to make another locker. Um, on that note, actually. How do I... Just quartz? Alright, let's build another locker. <laughs> let's build another locker while we're here, shall we? that right here next to this one it's just literally gonna become locker central this base all of the lockers ever lovely chuck more stuff in there all right that'll be good wonderful save our game on pins and blueprints that we no longer need. Look at this. What a dream. Okay. Now, plasteel ingot. I think we can make those, can't we? Yes, a bunch of titanium and some lithium. So that's fine. We'll be able to make that. And then it's just the magnetite we're looking for. Alrighty. Let's put the habitat builder away because we don't need that. So we've got a fire extinguisher. We have a laser cutter with a propulsion cannon, even a thermo blade and a repair tool in case. Um, let's consume some water. Um, maybe we should eat some food. Oh, I meant to cook that. Oops, never mind. Um, Bring some more water, bring a medical kit in case I hurt myself. I've already got two, that'll be fine. You're just hearing my thoughts coming out of my head as they go. <coughs> Cook the bladder fish. Eat the bladder fish for a little bit of food. I'm actually gonna save my game again now that I've done that. <laughs> uh, now that I've saved the game, Oh, we've got, we've, it's it's weird seeing this countdown, right? And going, I have no time! But it's like, realistically, I think we do have some time. Uh, so we've got to go one kilometer that way. So we'll be... We'll, we'll note the time. Does it actually tell us how far the sea, the sea moth can go at full speed? So we can actually try and map it out. <laughs> um, equipment, vehicles, sea moth. Top speed, 30, it does. 13 meters a second. Okay. So 13 meters a second. So if we go and it's like nine, this is an approximate. Actually, let's get an exact level. Let's get an exact one right now. With how far away it is. It's 1041. So 1041 divided by 13, it'll take us 13 meters a second, it'll take us 80 seconds to get there. That's not long at all. That's fine. Okay. I don't know if that math is wrong, we'll pay the price for it later. But I think that's right. One th 1041 meters. And then divide it by 13, how many meters can fit in there, you know, per second. I think that's good. So we should have time to explore this aurora. 
instead of just kind of sitting around for 20 minutes and waiting. We must be efficient. Um, it looks like in terms of entering the Aurora, we might have to go to that entrance that we were at before. I'm not sure um, if there are any other ones. We have a radio message. God, should we... Mm. All right, hang on. We have a radio message, and it might be the it might be the sunbeam because they said that they would be able to contact us directly. And considering that they're arriving, I dare say this message will be connected. I just want to go to the Aurora. God damn it! Okay, life pod 12. So, not related to the sunbeam. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get into the aurora. I think it's definitely been more than 24 hours, so I think whatever is going on with the... Uh... Ah, oh, the radiation. It's too late. Because what day are we on now? We're on day 21. Yeah. Irreversible damage has been done to the environment. So it looks like we have the entrance from the front because we kind of brought ourselves to the surface in it. And then from there, um, I guess we're just going to be doing a trial and error on all of this stuff because um, we've never used any of these items that we've just built. So we'll just figure it out as we go along. We just had to be doing this at night time. Okay. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to work, but... God. Ooh. I'm trying to just look for any sort of, uh... Oh! I'm trying to just look for any sort of opening. Just can barely see anything. hard when you don't know what you're looking for. I swear that there was a different area that we um, reached the surface from before. 
they are here. maybe get in from here mm. not seeing oh hang on This is, this is pretty rough, trying to find an entrance to this place, actually. Welcome aboard, I thought I'd see, like... Oh, is that my Seamoth on fire? Yep. Um, I thought I would have seen a, like a bit more of a clear cut, maybe door or something. But like I said, when you're just kind of like here and you're not exactly sure what you're supposed to be searching for, it's a little bit of a little bit of difficulty. Um, I'm trying to look for like a door that I can like cut open or something. Meanwhile, we're just on a time pressure for, like, actual rescue. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh, what the fuck? The hell? Oh. What the fuck? It's just void? Is this the invisible wall? Oh, what the fuck? Where am I? That's weird. Why is that an invisible wall? Fuck. Is, is this like... Can you not go further than this? Oh no, you can. Unfortunately, because that's actually terrifying because I can't see shit. Just like looked like... I was hitting an invisible wall on the ship. Can, can we get sunlight, please? I would like to see. Is this... Hang on. Is this... Invisible wall as well. Damn. I like how it, like, this area gets no better during the daytime, actually, because it's still just fucking cloudy as hell. Actually, hang on. This might. This looks promising. This looks promising. What's oh, got those fucking things? And right, hang on. This looks promising. We're on land. There's fire. I'm not gonna waste my. Oh my god, there's so many of them. I'm not gonna waste my f uh, fire hydrant unnecessarily. I think I found my way in though. Huh? With 15 minutes to spare. 
Well, at least we know where the entrance is, so if we ever if we need to reload a save, if we fuck up due to time. You know a more efficient way of getting in. Show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh god. Alright, fire extinguisher. Let's equip that. Probably don't need Alright, we'll see how we go. I need more quick slots. Ah uh, yeah let's put out this fire. I don't know how we haven't even used this before. Oh god. So I don't know how much we need to do this. I'm not an expert firefighter. That much is clear. Is this even oh, I thought this was gonna be a doorway that's like blocked. Oh, can I go I can go around here. Oh, this is cool. Alright, I didn't even need to use that. Um Unfortunately, which is a shame because I've already wasted like Oh, it gave me a free one. Never mind. systems are running on local reserve power, unable to remotely download black box data. Hmm. Okay. Aurora engineering drone log. Sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Bartley and chief technology officer you identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley. Install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone. I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Sensors recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweaked the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion can retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a second <coughs> walk in my skivvies. Amazing. <laughs> okay. Um, so talking about the propulsion cannon. Warps gravity to push and pull objects. So I'm assuming we're going to need that soon ah uh, like can I use it here yeah cool now I can go through here this is awesome aha uh -huh. can I just use a laser cutter of damage to the Aurora do not match any known offensive technologies. Uh, what if I just use the laser cutter? Does this work? No? Okay. Which means I actually need the keypad number? God damn it. Okay. That makes things interesting. Maybe we could find answers in administration. Integrating new PDA data. We got a note to self in here. So here we are, finally, in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate, to send ships to mine resources, to build more expensive ships, to install fancier phase gates. So we're trying to exhaust the galaxy and adjust ourselves. Use birthday, 
40 weeks before we get home, 400 weeks it feels like before we get home, not enough credits, Altera's paying me, and cargo bay code 1454, there it is. Integrating new PDA data. Altera launches the Aurora, phase gate announced for the... I don't know how to say that word. Ariadne Arm. Altera launches the Aurora, the furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Corp launches a newly constructed capital ship, carrying a phase gate bound for that place. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of that place in three months time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. There, the elite team of engineers will begin a six month construction project on the new phase gate a multi-trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Altera Core currently operates 9% of all phase gates in the galaxy. If the Aurora's mission is successful, Altera will have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations, operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Cool. All right. All right, we've got uh, that. 1454 is the code. Lovely. We got 12 minutes to get to the sunbeam. I might have to, oh God, I might have to bail soon. And we might just have to make the journey. I'm just, we're just panic exploring the Aurora at the moment. Um, one, four, five, no, eight. One, four, five, four. Please. Surely I could have used the laser cutter on that. God damn. This is cool though that we're actually getting to like explore this finally after getting some equipment. Forklift certified. I love that the game does make it very clear that you like need you just can't come in here though I, I love that i was ready to come in here with a repair tool in the very first episode but the game makes it very clear like oh we're gonna start needing some stuff uh we're gonna we get we need things that's for sure Transgov Profile, AlteraCorp, one of the largest suppliers of spacefaring technologies and consumer electronics in the Federation, the official supplier of the TSF, consistently ranked amongst the galaxy's best employers. Began life as a defense manufacturer in the mid-22nd century, national motto, get what you deserve. Although most Transgov can trace their roots back to Earth, Altera, literally meaning by Earth, is the only one brazen enough to take its name. During the expansion, Altera supplied arms to all sides, acquiring and housing a vast colonist workforce and making the transition from manufacture to corporate state. Altera's threat to cease trade was one of the turning points in the conflict, bringing about the end of hostilities and the signing of the Charter. Free enterprise within Altera space is encouraged, but competition is tight and all goods exported off-world must be Altera branded. Profitable businesses are bought out by the state, owners are sending to the board of directors. Well-known Altera technologies like the Cyclops Submersible originated with such private enterprises. Despite superficial similarities to national governments, the corporation's lawyers have always maintained that it has no legal obligation to its employees, but voluntarily elects to take on the roles usually served by a democratically elected government. This claim has not yet been tested in Federation courts. This is very finicky, this whole thing. Very shady. Very, very shady. All right, before we head down there, I got some fires to put out. <coughs> Ooh, this is new. What is this? A nutrient block. Food 75. Dense processed food recovered from the Aurora. Cool. We got the we got the emergency food there. Um.
just seeing if this is even worth our time. Is that where we... Uh, okay, yeah, I don't want to waste fire unnecessarily. Okay, that just takes us around. Ooh, hello. Drive room, Seamoth Bay. Damn, there's so much more here. Ooh, oh, this is getting real hard to, uh, to, because uh, this, I don't know if I can get out this way. Like, I'm dropping here and I feel like I'm dropping into some water. Uh, we're going to have to go to the Sunbeam area. I feel like if I just jumped in there, I don't know if we have a sensible amount of time before we can go back. We might, I might have to, like, swim and, like, you know find my way out of there so new plan we drive we've we've explored the aurora you know which is cool um and we're going to probably continue to but we are going to head to the sunbeam landing site um and we're going to see if um you know what actually takes place here i'd be very surprised if this was like an end and then the credits would roll you know what i mean <laughs> be very surprised. Um, so let's head back to the sea moth. I actually really thought for a second there when I dived off, I was like, I wonder if there's going to be like fall damage, like you hurt your tummy, split your gut open as you, uh, <laughs> as you uh, jump down, but we're okay. All right. We will be back. <coughs> I reckon. So let's head to the Sunbeam landing site. We got eight minutes. We should be there in no time at all, if my calculation is correct. Should we should we test it? 80 seconds from 1041 meters. It looks like we'll be able to make it in like a minute 20. So we should make it at um, 627 or something going at full speed. If my math is correct, we should arrive there at about 6 minutes 30 remaining. I'm really enjoying this game though. I will let's let's talk about it while we're heading to the Sunbeam landing site is I really really like this game. Uh hitting a stride I think and getting very very comfortable with the systems, picking stuff up, building it is super exciting. I'm not getting those giant and this is the thing. I have that sort of feeling of seeing submersible objects underwater and going, "Ugh," you know, sometimes. Like I've played Soma on the channel before I played that in 2020 um, and I and it gave me some of that vibes uh, when we were underwater but I th I think it might just be something to do with the fact that this game is so alien and maybe the art style as well um, that really kind of um, doesn't allow me to really have that level of fear or discomfort I suppose and look at that my math was almost almost correct in that where it's like six minutes on like a straight shot journey there we've got wizard fish whoa whoa we've got oh hang on we've got massive energy signature in the region cannot identify hang on this is like hang on a minute we've got actual like structure here we've got like i don't even whoa! oh my god it's actually coming and attacking me out of the water what the fuck Oh my god, go back in the water. Go back in the water! Jesus. Um, we've got actual ruins. And structures here. Whoa. Talk about a suitable place to land. Oh, another one of these! Dude. Oh shit, they give, um... Okay. The carbon-based device is lighter than it looks and features a symbol which resembles a U, lit up in purple. Despite the onboard power still functioning, algae growth on the exterior indicates it was abandoned hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. 
While the technology is far beyond Federation levels, there is no obvious way to interface with it. It should nonetheless be possible to fabricate a precise physical copy of the device if necessary. All right, well, this is our second one. Dude, it's getting weird now. It's getting real weird. Gone all this way to find a, a structure. That's cool. Get cut up crab. Ooh, there's a barrier of some kind on that door. Can I get here early? Or do I have to wait out the four minutes? We did have a radio message, but we're not even near a radio, so... We can't exactly, uh... Find out what they want if it was the sunbeam contacting us. <coughs> Weird that that, um... <gasps> magnetite can just be found on the ground! Dude, we found our first magnetite. How exciting. All right, magnetite can just be found on the ground. I wonder if it's because it's near this sort of structure, if this is what it's like built out of or something. Cool, well, we got four minutes to fuck around, everybody. So, I think I could, so, whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, I'm not getting like the uncomfortable submersible thing, which is good. I just find it so cool to look at. But it might just be to do with like the art style of the game. Where it's, it's like a little bit different. Like if it maybe if it was like fully realistic or something. If it was fully realistic, I reckon I would feel that a little bit more. You definitely get like the fear of the unknown though for sure god there's a bunch of wiz uh what are they? i don't even i don't even know what they're called anymore i just keep calling them wizard fish uh what i do know about them is that they're fucking aggressive they're aggressive they do not like me that much is certain Man, there's some weird shit going on here. I just want some magnetite, baby. Please. Blue palm. Blue palm is a common aquatic plant which thrives in shallower waters with high exposure to sunlight. Long fronds intercept light before it can reach the smaller flora on the seabed. Yo, we just collecting this shit today. Okay. Thank you. Two minutes until we get picked up. Lithium on the walls. That's a good mineral deposit here. Making full use of our time, I think. Whoa, that's new. What is that? Ooh. Ah! Oh, the fucking warlock motherfucker. Preventing me from scanning new life forms. Oh god, it's getting dark. Fucking Dr. Octopus looking arms. Dude, this is so cool. Look at how it's all glowing. Of course we're getting picked up at night. Huh? Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a broken one. We can fabricate them if need be. Because there might be some broken ones. Oh! 
Dude, okay. Inserting tablets to explore ruins. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Cool. Oh, there's so much in this game going on right now for us to get, like, rescued. Right? I just feel like this isn't going to go well. <laughs> it just arrives and then it, the game, the game ends. Oh shit, hang on. What the hell? The tower is activating? Um, the fuck? Look how fast that planet's moving. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Um, is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Oh, God, is that? No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Dude, holy shit. That's fucked. Is that what happened to us? Is that why we're here? Did we get shot down? That's why the Aurora's in its current state. They've got, like, some fucking planetary defense shit from, an, like, an ancient, like, alien culture. Look at that. Yeah, it's just packing itself up again. It sensed that there was a ship entering the atmosphere and just shot it to pieces. Holy shit, dude. That's insane. So they didn't land. We didn't get rescued. I didn't think it was going to go well, but I didn't think that that was going to happen. Holy crap. I wonder if we were, we were, could have like prevented this. There you go. Okay. Force field control. We've found a use for the purple tablets. Damn, this is, uh, this is getting heavy. Okay. We've got purple tablets that we can use to like unlock force fields. We've got ancient alien looking structures now. We've got the Aurora to explore. We have a sunbeam destroyed because I honestly didn't think we were gonna get rescued. It, fe it felt very much like there was so much more to do. Imagine if it was like an optional ending though. You can like choose to get rescued. That would be really interesting. But it gets shot down by some sort of planetary defense system. So I guess we're gonna uncover uncover or unravel the mystery behind that as well uh but i think with that one we're actually going to bring this episode of subnautica to a close with that ship getting shot down unfortunately rescue has been postponed we're gonna have to get ourselves off of this one somehow uh next time i guess we'll explore this place see what we can find in here find some more magnetite discover some things I'm really looking forward to this and uh, what else we can find down here because it's getting crazy weird now and uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.